What we have here is a 65, our early 65 J45. It has the uh, same neck profile as a 64. It's an inch and 11 sixteenths. Neck is really comfortable. I don't know what is left to be said about this. This is probably the nicest pre 70s guitar we've ever owned. Uh, it has got just brilliant color uh, to one owner. Basically was not played. The owner never learned to play the guitar. Um, and the, uh, it's just absolutely stunning. The color, it looks basically new. Uh, it's got obviously a few pick scratches on the pick guard. Um, there's uh, basically no checking on this guitar. On, guitar. It's, it's got a, some faint checking here. Um, the back is there's one little scratch right there. Other than that, the color uh, is just magnificent. I mean, obviously the original tuners, uh, back of the neck, uh, it looks like a guitar that's two years old. Uh, fretboard, obviously the original frets. Um, the headstock is, I, I don't know that I took the original strings off of it when I restrung it, but it's a possibility. Um, there's no winding marks or any of that. This is a, this is a, this is museum quality. Uh, and to add to that, listen to that. I mean, it just rings. Um, that's all I can say about this. Original case. Original case, and the case is in about as good a condition as the guitar is, which, you know, you would think there would be some wear on the case. Obviously, no children ever touch this guitar. Um, and basically, um, it's, you know, we hesitate to say mint condition, um, but this is... Uh, Near beautiful. mint. Near mint. Unfaded. No, no, uh, if it had a bone nut on it, obviously it's got the original plastic ceramic, um, uh, insert, uh, but, I mean, for very little money, you could put a bone nut on it without doing any kind of modification. Saddle. saddle and, and, uh, who knows what it'd sound like with that. I know what it sounds like with plastic. Uh,